Coming to you almost live from my apartment on the Avenue of Nations in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, it's The Show with... Z Wait. Let's say Frank. It's A Show with... No. No, no, no. No, my notes shows he's got that one too. Well, I, I guess I'll need a title for the show. Uh, for now, it's just Adam Snyder's vlog, which I guess we'll do, but if you've got something better, leave me a comment below, down there, I think. Or if you're viewing this on the uh, the vlog, the Tumblr website, then up there somewhere, use the Ask Me Anything button. Uh, you don't have to just send questions there, you can send comments and, and things like that. And show title suggestions. Give me a show title. I will try to come up with a cool prize for the person who titles the show. Segue now. Um, now that that title stuff's out of the way, I, I, I did mention Zay Frank off the top of the show, and that's because um, Zay, Zay is kind of the inspiration for this show in a way. Uh, I am not Zay Frank. I don't claim to be anything like him. I'm not going to try to copy his style or anything like that, but his return to, to YouTube has inspired me to create my own show. I've long thought it would be cool to have a, a local cable access show uh, way before the internet. Anybody watching this in Edmonton might remember Peter Hill. He had a show and I used to watch it on, on Shaw, the local cable access channel, and he was probably a video blogger before video blogging existed. He just sort of wandered around the city talking about whatever he felt like, talking about his life, and and just generally being kind of a weirdo. Um, but it was awesome, and I, I loved that show, and I, I always wanted to do something of my own like that. And now we have the internet. Why, why would I stick to local access, which probably is not even easy to get on, when for the price of an internet connection and a laptop, I can broadcast to the entire world. And so that's what I've decided to start doing with the show. Uh, it's very new. I'm, I'm just trying to find my footing and still trying to get a little bit comfortable talking to a camera instead of a real person. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this, and I'm hoping to get better and better as, as I talk to the camera more and more. That, that camera will start to be like a friend to me, and these conversations will feel less awkward and hopefully a lot more natural. Another segue. So I talked on Friday about maybe going to see uh, Cabin in the Woods because it was Friday the 13th and watching a horror movie seemed like a good idea. I didn't end up doing it on Friday. I went instead just kind of stayed in because the weather was shitty and didn't really want to go out so stayed in and watched Evil Dead 2 and that was awesome because it's Evil Dead 2 and it's always awesome. But I did go out on Saturday. Did did go watch The Cabin in the Woods. Uh, ironically, the weather was even shittier that day, but didn't matter. Wanted to go see it, so uh, my fiance and I went out, went to the theater, and it was awesome. It was really, really awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the DVD because there's a couple scenes where I want to just kind of pause it and or put it in slow motion or something and really just pour over the, the little details and get really nerdy about it. But, um. I don't, I don't even know what to say about it, honestly, because I don't want to spoil it. There's, It's one of those movies where you really want to go into it knowing as little as possible. Um, if you kind of know what's going to happen before you go into it, it's not going to be as cool and it's not going to be as interesting and probably not going to be as funny. Um, and, and it was very funny, even though it was a horror movie. So I definitely recommend it. Um, I, I don't want to say a whole lot right now. Maybe I'll talk about it later in a couple of weeks or so after people have probably already seen it, but I just don't want to spoil it. I just, I will say go see it. If you're a fan of horror movies, you'll love it. If you're a fan of Joss Whedon, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, it's not necessarily his typical kind of project, but it's, there's definitely some Whedon-esque moments. Um, so yeah, that's it for the show today. I just wanted to uh, start sort of the title contest. Uh, I, not really a contest, I don't have a prize, but if I can round up a cool prize, then I'll, I'll talk about it next time. In the meantime, uh, if you have title suggestions, please leave me a comment, and go see The Cabin in the Woods. You, I think, will really enjoy it, unless you are not a fan of, uh, of horror movies, and, and then you'll probably hate it, but if you like horror movies, you will like it.